I'm Bobby Thompson, I'm racing in the British Touring Car Championship this year with Team Hard Racing. Um, it's my debut season, so it's a bit of an unknown on how we're going to do, but I'm pretty confident for the year, which has come off the back of a good season in VW Cup, and um, yeah, I'm pretty excited about the year. Going to take you right back, how did you get involved in motorsport? It was a family thing. My, uh, my dad and my whole, my granddad's raced and my uncle raced, so it was pretty uh, a given that my dad was going to get me a go-kart and, you know, it started off just a bit of dad lad fun and it turned something a little bit more serious along the way, but uh, here we are now. Um, I'm, unfortunately, my dad doesn't race anymore, but I think that's maybe a good thing. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so it's, uh, it's always been a, in the family. Growing up over the years, what race series did you follow and who were your favourite drivers? Growing up, it's always been BTCC for me. Um, yes, I watched F1 as a kid, um, but for some reason it didn't appeal to me, it really didn't. I, I know, uh, I've always known that I, as a family, I hadn't had the money to go there. Um, but um, yeah, it's always been touring cars for me. So you got a, an exciting first season in touring cars. How, how do you prepare for that? Fitness has been a huge thing. Um, I've been training very hard. Uh, with a strength and conditioning coach. Uh, it's been tough, and I can't say I love it most of the time. But uh, yeah, I think fitness is going to be the, the biggest change for me. I've been doing a little bit of sim work, uh, but a lot of the tracks I've driven before, uh, it would just be good to get an eye out on some of the tracks I haven't been to, for example, Croft. So what's the plan across the season uh, in terms of testing, in terms of getting used to, to a new series, a new car? How, how do you prepare for that? So we've got a few days booked in to test um, and I'll be taking as much as I can from the team, from the other drivers and from the car for that, for that um, you know, those few weeks. And then to be honest it is jumping straight in the deep end and it's not until you get to that you know, first qualifying session and you know what it's going to be like with you know, 30 odd cars around you. So uh, I think it doesn't matter how many test days you do, you're learning it's all going to be all done on that first weekend. Just for someone who hasn't experienced it before, talk us through what it's like to be on the grid of a race and the emotions behind that. Yeah, well, even from you know low-level club racing to all the way up to you know, F1, you know, you still have the same nerves sitting on the grid waiting for the lights to go out. Um, and you know, I, some drivers react different. I, I don't get really nervous until until I'm on the grid, some guys get really nervous that whole lead up, even strapping themselves in the car, and even probably the first lap, some people. Um, but uh, I think right now, I do, I do quite a lot of stuff in cars, especially on the weekdays coaching, but I, uh, it's, it's took that side of things away from it, and I can focus more on the job I've got to do. Of all the, the circuits that you, you drive at, which are the ones that you, that you find a real great challenge and, and you enjoy driving at? I love Brands, it's my local one. Um, I feel that is probably the best one I know. Uh, not been to Knock Hill, but I know it's going to be a hard circuit. You know, it's known for it. Done a lot of laps there on the sim and uh, watched a lot of footage there, and it looks absolutely crazy. So, uh, you know, I think that'll be my my big learning curve for circuit wise. And what are your hopes for this season? Well, it's going to start. You know, my first goal is to start by scoring points, and if we are well in the points, then yeah. Top sevens would be great for me, you know. I wouldn't you know, shy away from that at all, that'd be absolutely perfect for me. Bobby, thank you.